attended my very first sewing expo and I thought I'd share the adventure with you in case you'd like to go to one too. I took a road trip down to Lakeland, Florida where the local convention center was hosting a three-day sewing and quilting expo. I attended just one day, the weather was absolutely gorgeous and it was just a perfect all-day sewing event. There was a huge selection of classes that you could take, tons of shopping to be done, food on site, and with your wristband you could come and go in and out of the building as you pleased. One thing that surprised me was how many people were there. Before the event started, there was a huge crowd of people just waiting to get in. I think the average age of people attending this event was probably 60, and it was mostly women, but I did see a lot of very sweet and supportive husbands, as well as tons of grandkids just hanging out for the day. As far as shopping and browsing, that could certainly take up your entire day. The event was 10 a.m. to 5 p.m., and you could just browse, walk around the entire expo center, and just have all sorts of sewing eye candy to look at. There were so many awesome notions to look at, and and I spent a lot of time browsing through those and it served as a reminder of all the little gadgets and gizmos that I don't already own in my sewing room that I've been wanting for a really long time. Everything from mini irons, needles, and buttonhole gauges. There was also probably every garment sewer's favorite, all the fabrics. I was surprised by how many really great bargains there were to be had. I think my main tip if you go to one of these sewing expos and you see a fabric that you really love, grab it because by the time you make a circle around the event and come back, it'll be gone. Trust me. So I saw a lot of beautiful garment fabrics and there was also this table set up where they were selling remnants of leathers and vinyls and they were absolutely gorgeous, but perfect for bag making, but also perfect for all sorts of little accessories you wanna make like wallets, luggage tags, headbands, and iPad holders. If you love looking at sewing machines and checking out the latest and greatest models, and certainly if you're in the market for buying a new machine, this is the place to go. They had all sorts of brands represented there, many makes and models that you could sit down at and have a hands-on experience with. So it was really fun to see all these latest and greatest machines and all the conveniences that they offer that my machines at home don't already do. So it definitely piqued my interest and I have a few models in mind for the next time I'm in the market. My absolute favorite part of this event was the fiber art. They had a whole section set up in the back that was just like walking through an art gallery. It was absolutely incredible to see what people are doing with bits of fabric. Artists had created life-size people figures that were lining one of the walls, and they had tons of fiber portraits that from a distance looked as though they were paintings, and they were just such a pleasure to look at. If you're not interested in anything else in this sewing expo, you could definitely spend the whole day just enjoying these fiber arts. They also had a lot of quilts and embroidery samples set up that were also just as fun to take a look at. Another perk about being at the expo was all the classes that you could take. Everything from how to use your serger, tips on embroidery, and even fitting guidance. There was just a class for everyone. And for the people that I bumped into that were there for all three days of the event, there were certainly enough classes to take advantage of to fill all of your days. I did take a class on pattern adjustment that was called the seam method, and it was interesting to listen as the instructor guided us on how to manipulate the seam allowances to get a better fit for your garments. She pinpointed different fit issues like broad back and full bust adjustments that all can be taken care of by manipulating and hinging your seam allowances and taking them in and out as necessary. So this was just one example of new and modern techniques that are out there that you can learn about maybe for the first time at one of these expos. So if you've never been to a sewing expo, I encourage you to do a Google search and check out what events might be close to you within driving distance that you can take a little road trip to and enjoy for a day or all of the days offered. It's a great way also to spend the day at an event that's full of a bunch of other people who love to sew. I hope you enjoyed looking into this sewing expo and joining me on my first time experience. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.